everyone, this is Kedra with Nick's Moon Oracle and today I'm going to bring you a messages from your person video. This is going to be about 15 to 20 minutes long. Haha, ha, I'm maybe, maybe longer, but I'm really going to try. Um, but I'm going to do a messages from your person. This could be a relative, this could be a uh, soulmate, this could be twin flame, karmic, or anything without the labels, boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, life partner, someone that has passed. I'm just gonna see what spirit brings up and see if it resonates with you. If it does not resonate with you, please don't try to make it fit. Try back next time or go look in my um, tarot reading um, playlist and you can see what resonates with you there or check back. You know, you can click subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so that you can see my future readings. I try to post several readings every week of all different kinds. I'm really venturing out as well as, you know, knowing what resonates with me and putting out content that I personally like myself. So. If you would like a personal reading, please feel free to um, reach out with the information in my description box down below, and I will be happy to do a reading for you um, and tap further into your situation, messages from your specific person. So with that said, let's get this started. Okay. <clears throat> Spirit, can you tell, give me uh, some situations, some energy regarding the watcher's person or the watcher what's going on strength I'm gonna get one more and then we'll go further I love this this strength card is so sweet with these baby lions and this nurturing woman love that's beautiful now let's get some tarot Spirit, can you tell me about this person? Two of Pentacles. I feel like what I'm hearing is, this was on the bottom of the deck, so I'm going to take it. I feel like your person is doing a balancing act right now, this Two of Pentacles energy. They're, you know, balancing, um, keeping things together. They're trying to balance their thoughts with this Page of Swords energy. They're having, they're really, you know, digging deep to find the strength within to help them balance these thoughts. And, I, and it has to do with love. Something, something that they're holding on to. Something that they're holding on to. They're really having to dig deep to balance thoughts. They're really digging, digging deep. I feel like they're nurturing themselves too. Like this, this may be a young person or a young connection. Spirit, can you tell me what this is in regards to? Why are they balancing? Why are they balancing, Spirit? Why are they balancing? What are they balancing? Their feminine side. What else? Okay. I feel like they... This two of pentacles, I feel like they're escaping thoughts of a feminine. This may be a twin flame. I feel like they're they're used to being able to let people go easily. But I feel like they made a they made a decision to escape. I'm I'm hearing you. If you are a feminine, you don't have to be female. You can have a divine feminine energy, which can be male, female, or non-binary. It really doesn't matter. It's just energy, whatever you embrace. It's actually a polarity. It's either a positive, negative polarity. Just, it's the energy. But they're thinking of you. But they're balancing it out. They're trying to have strength to not think of you, I'm hearing, or to work on I feel like they're thinking about why did I escape? Why did I run? Why did I leave this connection? Why? On the bottom of the deck, sucker and taboo. I feel like they ran. I'm getting two messages. I feel like they ran and maybe you felt like a sucker or they ran because they didn't want to feel like a sucker. Like sometimes people think that if you fall in love, which clearly came out love, 
you're a sucker. I mean, you, you were sucked in. You know, it's the end of your single life. I was going to be a bachelor, you know, and live and do, the, do this. I don't want to be a sucker. I don't want to be a sucker for somebody. Your pull on them maybe have just been so intense that it clouded their judgment. So they took a time out. They stifled this connection because they didn't want to be a sucker. They didn't want to be at the mercy of someone that made them feel so much. And with taboo, I feel like maybe it was a connection that others may think taboo. It could be religious factors. It could be um, different sexual orientations. It could be um, you're a bit witchy. You know, you're really into the metaphysical and then maybe they're more leaning, more conservative in their views. But something was taboo. I'm going to go into what was taboo. Spirit, can you tell me what was taboo about this situation? What was taboo? Hot and cold. We know they were hot and cold. What was taboo, Spirit? I'm going to get a, I'm going to get another deck really quick. What was taboo? What was taboo? Yeah, they were hot and cold. They were constantly walking away. Maybe even speaking to you is taboo now because they walked away. Because they were hot and cold. So even, they feel bound that they can't even, even though they're thinking about you and this love, that they, they walked away. So it would be taboo to even come to you right now. Because they sold out this connection. Oh my gosh, escapist came out. Yeah, they escaped it. Look at that. They ran. They were hot and cold and they ran from this. Twice. And now it's taboo. Because they walked away. They were hot and cold. They walked away. They stifled the connection. So now it's taboo. They sold it out for their ego. Wow. So... What would they like to say about this situation? What would they like to say about this situation, Spirit? Oops. What would they like to say about this situation? Ooh. I wondered how far this would go. What else, Spirit? Sometimes I hear your voice in my head and I fantasize about you and I'm getting that it's not, um, it's, I fantasize about what it would be like to reach out to you. I think about, cause the thoughts, I think about reaching out to you, what it, what it could have been had I not escaped, had I not ran, had I not sold out and stifled this connection, had I not listened to that voice in my head that I was a sucker for falling in love or being so drawn. I fantasize what it would be what it what it would be like, what I would say to you. I'm hearing I'm even seeing them them texting out a message and then just really struggling with pressing send. And then they just don't. But they have it saved. It's like they saved it as a draft. It's there. It just hasn't been sent and it stays there. And that's what comes back to the strength card. I feel like they're really struggling with wanting to send that text. They're trying to have the strength to do it, but it's taboo. It's taboo to contact you because they escaped and walked away and they don't know how you'll react. What else, Spirit? What else would they like to say to the Watcher? What else would they like to say? What else would they like to say, Spirit? I should have been more honest with you about how I was feeling at the time. And I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. I feel like they did. They felt like they had to do something back then. They felt like they had to do something. They wanted to be single. They wanted to go in a different direction. They wanted their life to look a certain way. That's why they escaped. That's why they walked away. Because this love scared the shit out of them. The pool was too much. They didn't want to be a sucker. It was too easy. It was too good to be true. I'm going to be a sucker if I fall for this. This feels weird. This feels too much. It's too good to be true. What am I doing? I miss you regardless of how things seem. And the grass wasn't greener on the other side. And the reason they haven't sent that text, I can't handle your words right now. 
I cannot handle your words right now, but just know my mind and heart always comes back to you. And you've been in my dreams. And that's where these thoughts come from. They're balancing all this. They're balancing wanting to send that text. They're balancing, nope, you can't send that text. They're balancing these dreams they're having. They're balancing the regret. They're balancing the fantasies about what it would have been like had they not escaped. They're balancing missing you. They're balancing why they did it, why they walked away. They're balancing the realization they walked away from love. Tell me more, spirit. And then I'm going to get some advice from Spirit, okay? What else, Spirit? Sucker came out again in a different deck. And then I have a re loud ringing in my ears. In one ear, I should say. Duality. Wow. I, I really feel feel like they felt like it would be too good to be true. Like this, there was something, they were waiting for the other shoe to drop. There was something. It, it was too good. They did not want to be a sucker. They wanted to live, they wanted to love you, but they wanted to be single as well. They, they had plans, they had, they weren't ready. They weren't ready and they didn't want to be a sucker. They didn't want to fall and go all in and just be a sucker. That's That came out twice, two different decks. One more spirit. They didn't just let it be. I feel for some of them, they have went into like a spiritual awakening and a meditation I'm hearing that they really are for some reason something came into their life meditation tell me about this being tell me about this being inner power yep that's what I said this something has happened where something spiritual has happened to this person they, they're having an awakening something has been introduced into their their life uh, maybe law of attraction really looking at how they've been living their life, how they've been, you know, not strong. I'm hearing them researching books, uh, friends introduce them to meditation and, you know, like being in the present moment. They've seen things on social media that's piqued their inner interest and they're really working on their inner power and it's, it's reflecting in how they see you. They're really thinking about how they treated you and they knew they had love, but they didn't have the understanding and the power to realize it. It's like they knew and they're going, they are, see, they're going through a transformation. They're going through a transformation. That is amazing. I love when the cards come out going after something I said and also, you know, with what I'm hearing and seeing. Yeah, they're wanting... They're letting, they're transforming and showing their true authentic selves, their true colors. They're breaking down the mystery. They're really looking at why, why did they avoid this? Why did they think it was going, you know, that they were a sucker or that they needed to be a certain way or that they, that it was too good to be true. They're realizing they felt like, I'm hearing they weren't worthy deep down. They weren't their authentic selves to you. And maybe they put up this front, this mask, this persona, and thought, this person will never really love the real me. They will never really love the real me. If they get to know me, they're going to leave. And I'm going to be a sucker. I might as well stay single. I might as well live my life this way because this person is gonna, not really going to love me. They're going to hurt me. I, I love them too much. I just have to walk away. They went on a, they, they're on a soul journey. They're on a soul journey. And they're ready for the, for the fight. They're ready for the fight. They're they're really working on themselves. But they are restraining themselves from making contact, even though they want to. This two of pentacles. They're restraining, contacting you because they know they've hurt you. They're restraining themselves. But I feel like the more they work on themselves, the more strength they're going to get. The more presence and being they have, the more they'll be able to sort it out. Yep, illuminated path. They've been at their, I said that 
immediately. They've been enlightened. They, they are on a path of somehow it was introduced to them. Somehow the call got to them. And maybe it was triggered by leaving you behind. But it could have been any anything. I'm going to get uh, some possible future outcomes with this. Peter Spirit, can you give me a possible, some possible future outcomes with this connection, please? You know what? Before I do that, I'm going to... I'm going to get some messages from their higher self since they're on this journey, um, being illuminated. I'm going, I'm asking spirit to please, uh, for the watcher, let their person communicate messages to me and through the cards, what they would like to say from their person's higher self in the astral, in the 5D. I wish I knew how you felt about me. That's why they're not contacting you. They, they, they're scared of your words. Remember that card came up. I'm afraid of your words right now. those cards are. Are they in here? No, but the messages from earlier that said, I, I'm afraid of your words. So I, I, that's why they're not communicating because it's taboo because they don't know how you feel. And so they're restraining themselves. I will come back for you. I feel like after a period, I still have hope that we uh, will be together. And I'm sorry I left you the way I did. I feel like this transformation that they're going through is really enlightening them and it's building up the strength, balancing their thoughts, balancing the recognition of why they did what they did, why they thought that loving you and giving into love was them being a sucker and they didn't want to be a sucker because they thought you were going to leave. Why did they think they were so undeserving of love and, and true love and, and good love and good vibrations and somebody that really loved them? Why did they think that you wouldn't like who they really were? But they're working on it. They really, I've never seen in a reading somebody that really is working. This person, he, she, they, them, it doesn't matter. They're working on themselves. Your person is working on themselves. And this is their higher self speaking to you. The higher self is different from the physical because the ego kind of just falls away. This is like brutal honesty. And on the bottom of the deck... I won't be able to keep myself from reaching out much longer. I told you that they had that message on draft saved because they want to send it. They want to communicate. They're just working on themselves. They're balancing out. I feel like they want to come to you their best selves, clear-minded, balanced, and they're gaining the strength through this revolution, through this illumination, by being in the present moment, by fighting hard and building strength revealing the mysteries of who they are and why they do what they do and realizing they're a soul they're in, they're going undergoing a transformation big time and reclaiming their inner power and knowing their true being that is absolutely magical i love this i'm sorry they hurt you but this is really hopeful and really beautiful and great uh, possible future outcome i'm going to go into possible future outcome Can you give me some possible future outcomes for this connection? Possible future outcomes for this connection. I'm going to get two and then a couple of clarifiers. What are the possible future outcomes with this, this person? Dreams. Talent. On the bottom of the deck was passion, so I'm going to take it. Can you tell me future outcomes with this connection? Ooh. The flu. Detached. Temper. What else? I'm going to shuffle. What else? One more spirit. Thank you. Sweet indulgence. Date nights and home sweet home on the bottom of the deck. Okay. So what I'm getting... Is I feel like they are really working because the transformation that means they're detaching they're detaching from old beliefs they're detaching and tempering which temper um, I'm not getting I'm not getting that they have like a bad temper or anything I feel like they're going to temper the situation they're going to temper their fears their what has been keeping them from reaching out to you, what limiting beliefs they have about themselves. They're really tempering, balancing out. That goes to that two of pentacles, but also temperance as well. Just that balancing of energy, balancing 
They're trying to balance themselves. They really are. They're coming back home to who they really are, which is their soul. That came out earlier, their soul. They're balancing and tempering who they are, how they believe, how they treat people, and they're really looking forward, ahead, and coming home to their authentic selves, detaching from anything that doesn't serve their highest good. I feel like a future outcome is they're really going after their dreams and passions and recognizing not only, I feel like they're using you as a muse, I'm hearing. They may be an artist, a musician, a poet, something has been created and revealed. See this moon? Something has been, and there's a moon here too. There's something that has been created. Like the veil, you know, the big huge moon of deception, that mass deception that they were telling themselves has been thinned and it has revealed like who they are and talents that they have. And it ignited this passion to go after dreams in regards to this talent. They use you as a muse. Somehow they use you as a, a muse and this causes that strength to happen within them. And they want to indulge with you. They want date nights. I mean, this is the possible future outcomes, date nights and sweet indulgences where you have, you know, some wine and some sweet treats or, you know, you just indulge in each other's sweetness. They're indulging you with their sweetness and their romance and they're ready to be open, detached from limiting beliefs. I, I, hear, I hear that they're really transmuting because you are a muse and it has revealed a talent or reawakened a talent that they have. That's absolutely beautiful. So what advice, Spirit, do you have for the Watcher going forward? I'm going to get two cards. What advice do you have for the Watcher going forward? We're at 28 minutes, so <laughs> I went past my 15. That's okay. The messages come out the way they are. I just, I'm just going to go with the flow. Just going to go with the flow. Spirit, what, would you, what advice do you have for the Watcher going forward? What advice do you have for the watcher going forward? That is two, well, I'll do it. There's only three and I like three, so I'll take them. What do we have here? Heart to heart conversations, which I think this is definitely gonna require a heart to heart conversation because they feel, you know, they have stifled and ended this relationship, right? So this is gonna take some serious heart to heart conversations and you may not wanna hear what they're saying. You may, you may be like, uh-uh, no, but they're holding you gently and they're talking to you and Spirit's guiding them. Spirit's guiding them to say, to have the strength to talk to you. You may not be wanting to hear it though. True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. See, it's being protected, it's guided. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. I think for some, for the, this collective, you just know that. You know that and you may see that they're working on it. And if it's true love and protected and it feels good and not toxic, and it's true love and it makes you feel good and they compliment your life and not complicate your life. This is your soulmate. This is true love, but it's going to take some serious heart to heart conversations. And you are, I, I'm really seeing you are not wanting to be about it at first. You may be looking at this reading like, no, I'm not talking to him. I'm not talking to him. He can burn in hell, rot in hell. I don't think this reading is for you at that point. <laughs> This reading may not be for you if you, you really, you know, loathe this person. But if you are a per, if you're a person that is open to a conversation, even though you're like, I, I don't want to hear this shit, but I'm open because you really do love this person and you want to hear them out. Maybe you need closure. Maybe you need some closure. Maybe you need some closure. I'm going to get a message of closure. See all that you do for others. What else, Spirit? They really see you in a loving way. They, and I just saw I love you in the deck, and then I have to close it up. I went to grab it and I lost it. I'm going to try to shuffle it again. I saw I love you though. What else, Spirit? What else? Uh, they see that you have so much compassion. They see you are so loving and they love it about you. They know that you're sweet to them too and they don't deserve it. I mean, they feel in the past, oh, that's, I saw this earlier too. I was wrong and I'm sorry. 
this is closure right here. This is what they want to say. I see everything that you do. I see everything that you've done for me. I don't know why I did what I did. I don't know why I felt like that. But I was wrong and I'm sorry. Please acknowledge me. I want to talk to you. I want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're so beautiful. I was wrong and I'm sorry. Please acknowledge me. Please acknowledge me. And regardless, if you want to acknowledge me or not, please take care of yourself because I see all that you do for others, but make sure not to forget about yourself. And that's really beautiful. That's really beautiful energy. I'm gonna shuffle one more time. One more. I just feel like there's something else. Usually I wouldn't get that many, but I just feel it. Do you still feel my presence? Do you still feel them? Do you still feel the same way? Or did I damage this? I'm going through my life review. I told you they're going through a transformation. And, and what went, why do they feel this way? Why would they turn their back on something so beautiful? Why did, why did I think I didn't deserve this love? Why did I hurt her or him or them? They didn't know why, but they're reviewing. They're going through that transformation. That's really beautiful. And finally, Spirit, I'm going to get one last word. What is healing in this? What is healing? What is this person healing? And what can the watcher watch? Um, what can the watcher focus on going forward? Oh, two cards came out too. Image, future. I feel this is for your person as well. I feel maybe maybe they're both are. Let me read them. Image. I'm comfortable in my own skin, even if others can't accept me. They're saying, you know, regardless of what happened, they're going to love themselves going forward. They didn't love themselves. And that's why they didn't continue a relationship with you. But regardless of what you decide, if you're going to hear them ha hear them out or not, they're going to continue working on themselves and they're going to continue their journey to self-love. Future. Shift your focus onto present events rather than what's ahead. The future is not meant to be known. Absolutely. You're, you're working on this. They're working on this. You're working on your image and how pe others see you. I, I also feel like, watcher, I feel like this ending with this person caused you to feel like really bad and rejected and you had to do some work you didn't know why they did this but it hurt and it made you feel less than it made you feel disrespected it made you feel rejected and it made you feel unloved unwanted and and it hurt it hurt you but then you you went forward you moved forward and you were healing and now you're comfortable in your own skin regardless if they give two shits about you. Regardless, it doesn't matter. And you're not looking to a, a future with them. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I'm okay with that because I'm gonna love me. I'm gonna live for right now. My happiness is not in the future, it's right now. And it's not, my happiness isn't dependent on another person or their image of me or how they felt about me or if they rejected me, that has nothing to do with my happiness. My happiness is now. My happiness is me. My happiness is my self-love and self-worth. Badass. That is so badass. And then I'm going to get one last card, one energy tree. I love these energy trees to tie up everything together. This is one of my favorite decks. Soul Trees, I think it's called, and it's on Etsy. I don't know who the, let me, let me see if I can find the box. It's called the Soul Trees Oracle Cards, created by Allison Williams Yee. And I love them. She has several tree decks, and I plan on getting another one. But this is my one of my favorite oracles. It is so nice. And so many cards with so many... I just get so many messages off of one card. Passion came out again. You're using this for your passion, this experience for your passion, and they're using it to follow theirs. Remember, passion came out earlier they have a passion and a love for you you're there you're amused to them the situation you're amused to their transformation you're amused that causes this passion within them to be a better person to reveal who they really are to drop the you know mass deceptions of themselves the inauthenticity they are ready they are transmuting 
they are ready to live in passion. They want to have heart to heart conversations with you. They think you're beautiful. You're their muse. You're their true love. You're their soulmate. And they know it. And I feel for those of you that are watching this, that love this person, and you kind of know what's going on, you know this too. This isn't toxic. This isn't abusive. This isn't codependency. Because as we clearly see, your happiness doesn't depend on anyone's interpretation of you. And you're going to go forward no matter what because you're living in the present moment. You're not seeing a future with anybody. You are living you. You love you. You're comfortable with you. And you're okay with the unknown. You're okay with that. That's beautiful. I hope this reading helped you guys. I know it's a little longer than I said, but I think it was a lovely reading. I hope it helped. If you were, if you're interested in seeing any more of my videos, please click like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. That way, anytime I post videos, which is several times a week, you'll be notified. And if you're called to watch it, please do. Um, and please only take the readings that resonate and just discard the rest. But I really hope it helped. It was a lovely reading. For those of you that were this person, is reaching out to you to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I really hope that you not only ha have this love within you and this beauty that in you that they see, but that you see in yourself and that you do find the true love that you're seeking with another person. But I know that you are making sure that you are your first true love. I hope this helps. Namaste.